As we were driving down the road to our next set, I noticed some elk uh, over in this draw. They looked like they were just kind of grazing away. I believe they had just been down to the reservoir and watered up. It's still pretty early in the morning and they're just slowly working their way up to the timber. I've hunted around cattle and a lot of deer and elk over the years and you can get by with quite a bit with them but sometimes you got to really uh, be pretty low keyed on your calling. So I was just doing a light rabbit on this uh, call because I didn't want them to get all excited and start running off because any coyote in the country would uh, see them and know something's up right away. So I was actually surprised these elk stayed as calm as they did as close as they were to us. This is one of those sets where you just uh, get lost watching all these elk and just enjoying being in the outdoors and listen to the birds singing and the elk uh, just kind of milling around. And it was kind of more about filming these elk than it was actually calling up a coyote. That old lead cow, she's starting to get a little nervous and she's decided it's time to head the troops out. If you look up on the horizon on top of the hill to the right there, you'll see there was a bunch of antelope as well. We didn't call a coyote in on this set, but we figured for a blank set it was still pretty good.
Well, we sat down in a new spot here that looked really good to us. That draw kind of to our front and right, it goes down about two miles and then there was a lot of timber directly to our right. The wind was blowing from our right to left and we just figured something would come out of those draws or those little draws in front of us where that timber is. Figured it'd be a good place for a coyote to be held up out of the wind, but we get a surprise and a coyote shows up directly to our far left to our downwind. This coyote shows up at about 350 yards. We played with it for about five minutes or so, and then it looked like it was gonna take off, so Stan took a long shot and just missed him. It was kind of unusual to see these elk out in the middle of the open country feeding, but they were eating that green grass that's just starting to poke through, and uh, they're eating it like candy, so they're just out and about all day long. This was about mid-afternoon. We're out this morning coyote hunting. We got a really nice morning this morning. And uh, we had our set here. I was on the downwind and this uh, female came through the tree here and she was a little frustrated. She went into a challenge howl and I happened to just have her in the scope when she did that. And I shot her, I think it was at about 237. So we're on the board this morning. Well, thanks for watching this video. This was one trip I put the camera down most of the time and packed my shotgun. We ended up killing six coyotes, I believe, on this trip. Uh, I did kill one with the shotgun. If you're new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And here are a few more videos I think you'll enjoy.